Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on the video. So, in this video I'm going to be reviewing a sleeping bag that I've been using for the past year. It's a Van Gogh Latitude Pro 400, it's a four season sleeping bag. And it's also a budget sleeping bag. So, the comfort rating in this sleeping bag is minus four. But I've actually took it down to minus six and I was really quite warm in it. The extreme limit of it is minus 30. I wouldn't use this sleeping bag in minus 30. So the length of the sleeping bag is 205 centimeters. The width is 78 centimeters. And the foot end is 48 centimeters wide. The total weight of it is 2,100 grams. And it's a four season sleeping bag. Suggested usage minus 11 to 15 degrees celsius it's got a really good quality double zip on it and it doesn't tend to get snagged so in the summer months you can unzip the bottom end if you're overeating it's also got this velcro here which also stops the zip from coming down while you're inside of it. It has these neck baffles inside on the drawstring. You can tighten, <coughs> which pulls a sleeping bag around your shoulders and keeps the heat inside. It also has the drawstring on the hood. So you can tighten the hood over your face to keep the heat in around your head. Now, I think I paid around £70 for this. And like I've said, it has kept me warm down to minus six, so I think that's a good a good deal really. It comes in this stuff sack, which is a bit of a faff to get it into. But it's not a down sleeping bag, so it's not going to compress very well. Nearly there. There's this flap on the top. And you just put that over the top, pull the drawstring down. That flap just helps to keep any water out of it. And then you fold the straps over the top, you pull down on the toggles. And you can get it to a good size. overall I think if you're looking to get into wild camping on a budget or you're just thinking about trying it and you don't really want to spend a lot of money I think it's really worth looking at this bag the only con that I have found with it is that it can be quite tight so I'm um, around six foot and I, I, can't, I do struggle to zip it up sometimes with both arms inside of it. So if you're a larger chap, I would actually recommend trying it before you actually purchase it. Just lay it out on the floor, get in it, give it a go.